This is a new series called Dine and Dish, where we make a meal and have an intimate conversation with some of our favorite people. Today, we are making vegan bourbon mushrooms and rice with our homies Jade and Devin. Now, Jade and Devin are not just married, they're also musical and business partners. Their project All Blue has well over a million plays and is now streaming on every single platform. So we've had a ton of conversations with Jade and Devin in the past about marriage, so we were super excited to hear what they thought of Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith's Red Table Talk. Now in the comments section, the question I want you all to answer is, is marriage the ultimate goal for a relationship? Well, literally every person like on my Twitter feed, it was like, yo, that's goals right there. Yo, 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 Will and Jada did this. And I was like, oh, so maybe I should check this out. And then when you brought it up, I was like, yeah, let's watch it. Let's take yeah, it to On top of being obsessed really with her, like, I think their relationship's always kind of been intriguing yeah. to a lot of people. Because there's like always, yeah. yeah, there's always been so much speculation. And for them to kind of finally, you know, address a lot of that is kind of dope. Well, were you guys watching, like, Let Me Learn or, like... Let's figure it out. Let's, let's see what they're actually gonna say. I think a little bit of both. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, every, they, they have so many unorthodox ways about them like over the years and so much speculation that it's like, what's really going on behind it? The, the only thing they did say is that they're not swingers. That's well, so, that's so specific, yeah, that's very though. Specific. That was a way to kind of get it. Because, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a different specific. lifestyle. He said that is a very specific lifestyle. He didn't yeah. say we haven't <laughs> experimented with other people sexually, mm -hmm. which is their business. But yeah, they he only said we do not swing. I'm surprised people received it so well because what? It was a lot of like between the lines real shit, but there's a lot of real shit yeah. that I did see some people, remember that one response video of a dude who was like, this is not my marriage, this is not my ideal relationship. And some people did feel that way. Mm. Yeah. I expect there to be more. That's the problem. We're all trying to have a one size fits all standard. Right, so why do you need to comment on somebody else's choice? It's really? like yeah. whatever it takes. And you said, like how many people do we know that's had a successful marriage in a traditional context? Like, so obviously oh. there's something wrong. Like I don't know anybody we were, in my family. Yeah. We were talking about this just yesterday. Like if someone told me there was a 50% chance that your money, you would lose your money if you invested in something I would like kind of try to figure out a way to make it work for me I wouldn't do it the way everyone else was doing yeah. it who yeah. were failing at a 50% yeah. rate what is your guys relationship how do you define the language around it as far as life partnership versus marriage yeah life partnership yeah for, for sure. sure yeah I mean, like we kind of established that pretty early <laughs> yeah that we didn't want to put all like the baggage and the weight on marriage yes yeah. like i think that's really unhealthy it's just like okay now we're going to get this like approved by the government it's like yeah. so it really holds on my weight in my my eyes it's like more so making sure that we protect ourselves and understand that it that people understand that we're serious about our commitment to each other mm -hmm. i don't think having a doctorate makes you a doctor. It's the yeah. years that you put in, the passion that you have for medicine, yeah. and those letters communicate to people, what this is, is what I am. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, that's not what makes you incredible at your job. Exactly. That's yeah. the governality. Yeah, because it's like, it, it's a way of like, when you say, when I say to someone like, oh, this is my fiance, or this is my wife, you know, people already like, they put a little respect, respect on it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, one back on it. When we're doing shows or something, I'm like, give it up for my husband. Yeah, like, yeah, instantly yeah. they turn into these weird, like, oh, <laughs> now I'm really into yeah, them. Like, it's yeah. super weird. <laughs> Do you guys think that marriage is something couples should aspire to? Is it hashtag goals? I don't think marriage is hashtag goals. Uh, I think we. It's because of society, we put so much weight on marriage and we totally forget ourselves. Mm. I see so many people do that. They're looking for someone else to like be the foundation of their happiness or to complete them and yeah. without figuring their shit out. So, um, yeah, I think connection, true connection without jealousy, without uh, all these negative emotions is goals. Mm -hmm. Honestly, yeah. What about you? I agree. Wait, no. What about you? <laughs> um, no, I agree. I agree. I think when you put 
that title on it, it seems like the job is done or something. Yeah. And I think that's the problem. It's, it's like, what I liked about the Will and Jada thing is they showed that it's an ever-changing thing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't want to adjust when life changes. They That is what I think creates the conflict because then it's like, you're not loving me the way that I want you to, so mm -hmm. this doesn't work. And I actually, I tweeted this the other time. <laughs> but <laughs> now I was saying that a lot of people want unconditional love, but they really don't understand what that shit means yeah. it's like unconditional love like do you really know what that means that's what will is saying there is nothing that jada can do that is gonna make me not love i feel uncomfortable with the term unconditional love mm. maybe that's just my super logical brain being like everything has conditions and conditions are healthy mm -hmm. because it should never be a given like i don't even like the concept of loyalty for that reason mm -hmm. because loyalty says that like, i will stick by you no matter what but i only have one life to live you know but I mean? how good does loyalty feel? I don't think that, I think choice feels better to me. Mm. I wouldn't want someone to stick by me just because I was there first. Mm -hmm. I want you to choose me because I'm the best option, because I make sense, because I'm adding value to your life. Mm -hmm. And so the notion that, well, I'm loyal to you versus, nah, like I fuck with you. Yeah. That's mm. more what I find as a feeling of love. Yeah. I feel like choice feels like love and unconditional love to me just seems like an unrealistic expectation because if you killed my mom, we probably probably wouldn't like you no more. To yeah. be honest with yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think I think marriage is um it's definitely goals. I think that if we redefine what marriage is, yep. mm -hmm. then it could be really what it what what everyone is striving to be. I think most people when they hear marriage, they just think of the title. And marriage is so much more than the title. I think it's you know a, a, a certain devotion that you have to to each other. It's a, it's symbolic. It's like we're life partners, and and to the world and to the government standards, this is how I'm going to show that. Yeah. I hate that it's a method of quantifying the value of a relationship, mm. and I almost hate participating in that in uh, in us. Yeah, but like, it helps though. It does help, yeah. but I hate the fact because I know some 17 year olds who are in a healthy relationship that battles what some of my aunts and uncles who've been married for 40 years have. Mm. Yeah. Like the mutuality, the respect that they have for each other. To me, like that is a better example of love. But like marriage is the benchmark of love. Like every mm -hmm. time that a couple's like, well, you've been married for 50 years. Everyone's yeah. like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But are they happy? Right. Versus the couple who was happily married for 10 years and they decided to split amicably. Like, we yeah. don't applaud. It's like if it did, if it ends, then it couldn't have been happy, mm -hmm. you know, right. for that moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel you. So it's like, yeah, I feel, I feel torn about a lot of it and I feel torn to participate in it in some capacity. But but you have to. I have to. You have to. And I'm glad to because I would have chose you regardless. No, um, I'm not saying you have to get married. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that you have to. Part <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying. I'm saying that you have to participate because it does aid you. It does aid you in in, in a business world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Being married it, it is going to help you. It's going to help you describe our relationship. And I don't think that's selfish or like shallow at yeah. all. Like. We do anything for we, we do things that we don't necessarily want for anything for our jobs for mm -hmm. our careers you know being an entrepreneur anything so I think it's totally healthy to use things to your advantage to to operate in this world the best mm -hmm. way you can yeah, and it's a business it's a partnership mm -hmm. so anything else you go into business there's some yeah, sense of expectation yeah. it, to make it run mm -hmm. smoothly I think it is it's dope I like being married I love being married yeah to, to you what, <laughs> what spawned the the marriage question because you guys did it young right i don't know it just felt like it was the next step yeah we, we had moved to la together uh i think we were really happy like with just careers and where our lives were going and yeah it just made sense i think we knew we wanted to be with each other yeah. like forever. and we saw and the just... beauty in our unity like things started to and not even to sound all super no, but divine but there's nothing like fun and i'm sure you guys can relate like yeah. everything just seemed to blossom in a way that individually it just didn't mm -hmm. do you know but when we came together and he was able to balance out not that i'm not whole i don't mean as a person but i just mean there's strengths to having another right. person to help enhance everything that yeah. you do yeah there's just... not there's nothing no better agreement than partnership yeah uh, you can't get any more on the same page than having two minds come together because when you have a third or fourth for however many more it's more likely for chaos yeah so i think that's this is the the root of all like 
idea is all creation is to have that like mind between two people you know what like I mean? to your point everything in my life went up yeah like in the un in the partnership it somehow enhanced every single aspect of my life and so i can't even fathom coming home and having to like download my day with someone that i, I haven't been going through it with because mm -hmm. yeah. well, you know you have somebody like you know when you have a significant other that let's say you don't work with you still get to bounce off and lean on when you're feeling down, you know, but there's a certain level of like understanding, yeah. like I'm in there with her, I'm in there with you, you know, when it comes to like your videos, your ideas, their birth, we, we birth them together, we move them together, we shoot them together, we edit them together. So it's like when you're feeling heavy, I can understand that heaviness because I've been working with it, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's like, there's a different level of leaning because we're leaning on each other now. Yeah. It's not like you coming home and being like, man, so this happened today, boom, and just mm -hmm. throwing it on me. Yeah. It's like, no, we, we did it together. And Versus like, seeing it and being real to the to Yeah, your heart, you I know? mean, I don't know. I've been a great worker with, regardless with anybody <laughs> that I work with, you know what I mean? I, I, everywhere I work, I, I shine, but you know, this, this situation definitely like showed me like, I can work with a partner because I didn't think I could do that with a significant other ever. Mm -hmm, yeah. because and I'm not an easy person to work with. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> you saw how many times she got up and moved around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go, yeah go for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And smile. Kevin, can you do me a favor? Can you take a conversation with like a person here? Like a smile, like laugh. Just need mm -hmm. a like. Whoever's one that is. But we're supposed to be done before. That's, that's Jay's. But like, Can she pick it up? Or can Jerry can pick it Or what? just pick it up? Do you guys. Are you guys committed to life? Like how Will and Jada were like, we're, no we're in this for life. Like we made a decision. Are you guys at that place? I mean, that's definitely the goal. But I think we also understand that the, the only healthy way to take anything is day to day. You know what I mean? But with an understanding, mm -hmm. right? You know, and that's our goal, but. But like you said, if, if he kills my mom, <laughs> it may be a little weird for us for a day. But as long as our, <laughs> the core of who we are doesn't like completely change in terms of our morals or like yeah. respect or, you know, loving people or treating people, you know, right. Yeah. Within reason. Yeah. So realistic forever. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think I'm in. I think I'm put all my chips in. You know, I think I'm in. I think also, I'm also, you know, every day is a new day. Yeah. And so, you know, if you were to go and kill my mom. Why is that the thing for all of us? <laughs> <It's a wrap. laughs> oh, it's a wrap. Yeah. I thought you meant like you were shrugging like. No, oh, no. Um, oh, what, what is she saying? No, no. She gave me really negative. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's a wrap. I'm just saying, I'm saying, I'm saying that like every day is a new day. So right now, I choose you. Yeah. yeah. And right now, you know, I'm in this for life. Mm. And that's just what it is. And if, if there's a, anything that we go through, we work through it. And from that perspective right. that I chose you as a life partner. I will say like, we got into this argument maybe like a month ago and you went to like, I'm not sure if you're going to want to marry me. I don't know if you want to be the guy that's this imitation of him. It sounds like very kid. Like, yeah. who, is, who are you? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we are minimum two years away from this conversation. At this place, based on what we've built, you have built a two to five year cushion of like, if you are a dick from now till 2021, like, <laughs> you're good. In 2021, I'm gonna be like, okay, this phase is lasting a real long time. Let's reevaluate. So you've built up a lot of like equity in the company. You've built up a lot of loyalty. Is it a lifetime's worth? I don't know what that looks like yet. So do we all agree that it's kind of a little unhealthy? Yeah, yeah, a little unhealthy to promise forever. Yeah, and I think, but I think that we're all kind of saying the same thing. Even yeah, it's people, like I think that's what we all want. Because, that's our goals. Right. But we understand that, hey, yeah, man, it, it happens. Right, and if I'm not happy, like, yeah. this can't continue. Yeah. Yes. But that's the thing. Like, if you go into a marriage in a traditional sense and say forever, people have that, oh, well, I can kind of do whatever and I can let myself go. And then it creates that environment for things to go so south. Yeah, but when you're honest, it creates a sense of let me keep myself together because I understand that 
this is disposable if right you know what i mean it gives you it just helps you keep yourself together just yeah. really recognizing what everyone kind of knows because mm. you can go into it saying forever and 50 percent of those people still don't do that yeah. so so it's just like our intent is to go as far as this can go mm. and that's that's just what it is and i don't think marriage defines that and i don't want anybody out there that's thinking about marriage defining their relationship to think that that's what the the goals are yeah. then there's so many more things that you need to wrap up before you just think of marriage marriage is just a layer yeah it's just a part of it you know it's like cool yeah i'm good here with this foundation yeah. let's just put the the, the, hat, on there, the, the metal on yeah. yeah the gold medal you know what marriage is marriage is the wwe belt <laughs> like you get it but they can take that shit away you yeah. know what i mean yeah. it's not an olympic medal where it's like yours forever right you gotta keep earning that gotta belt earn yeah you gotta keep going in and earning that belt your nest and don't you forget it <laughs> cheers to that yes you, it's cheers. bad luck for you cheers shannon so you now get you out can of tell they're plastic cups but it's <laughs> Maybe you can add yeah, like post production. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'll put in some dings in there. Uh, yeah, I used to think about you when I had no one to talk to. Had a bougie kind of moody bouncing when you walked through. And you used to get that Brazilian wax. Yeah, I put that on a wax. Cell phone, pull it out the Zillion bag. How you getting stacks? Where they flying you? Where you flying to? Oh, I see you in the island. Mama call, put your cell phone always silent. You a pirate, floating overseas for the diamond. Ain't surprising.